Cambridge's got Sussex beat by a mile plead their duties and loyal helping the Queen at 26 Columbian pesos event. Prince William and Kate, Duchess of Cambridge are under pressure to step up their royal duties after the Queen cancelled her appearance at 26 Columbian pesos earlier today. The Cambridges were recently spotted with their three children at Heathrow Airport preparing to jet off on holiday as the Queen continued her tireless public service. Today it emerged that the 95-year-old monarch was not attending the Climate Change Summit, which begins on Monday in Glasgow, on medical advice. It was later announced that William and Kate will attend in her place. Prince Charles and Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall, will also fill in to ensure the royal family's presence is felt as world leaders descend on the Scottish city for the international summit. The announcement comes as the second in line to the throne has taken an increasingly frontline role in monarchy in recent years. This shift was only hastened by the departure of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, a move dubbed Megxit, observers have claimed. He quickly stepped into the fray when the 95-year-old monarch had to cancel a planned trip to Northern Ireland last week. And today's development that she will not attend the global summit will only have reinforced his role as one of the royal family's main patriarchs, according to royal expert Natalia Oliveri. Speaking on Today Extra, she said, Prince William is one of the royals that's really stepping up and taking charge of these royal duties. Apparently he is taking charge of the Balmoral and Sandringham estates in the Queen's absence. Those were jobs that his grandfather, Prince Philip would have done before his passing, so really William is preparing to be king one day after his father. Kate, a mother of three, is also keen to help the Queen in any way she can, according to a royal source. They told the Telegraph that the 39-year-old royal will always support Her Majesty. They added, if there is any way they can support Her Majesty on her engagements, they will. They are both keen to provide any support they can. In a statement released today, Buckingham Palace said, following advice to rest, the Queen has been undertaking light duties at Windsor Castle. Her Majesty has regretfully decided that she will no longer travel to Glasgow to attend the evening reception of 26 Columbian pesos on Monday 1 November. Kate Duchess of Cambridge and Prince William, along with Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis, received the royal treatment at Heathrow before they took off to an unknown half-term holiday destination, according to recent reports. Out of the 78 million passengers welcomed at Heathrow every year, only a handful can afford the Windsor Suite. This special service is designed for elite travelers who are offered everything they would expect from a luxury hotel within the confines of an airport. According to the Daily Mirror, the Cambridges were seen entering Heathrow's Windsor suite as they waited for their jet to be ready for takeoff. Back in 2018, Meghan Markle's mother, Doria Ragland, also benefited from the Windsor suite ahead of the royal wedding, according to the Daily Mail. Priya Malhotra, head of Heathrow VIP, told Business Insider the people usually paying for the VIP treatment are the movers and shakers and people leading our globe. Ms Malhotra said her staff, from chauffeurs, butlers, doormen, personal shoppers and chefs include a total of 96 people. Some of them start as early as 4am to accommodate all their VIPs. The suite is hidden within the airport and only the real experts will know where to look to see a BMW driving these elite passengers into Heathrow. It's elusive, part of the allure, said Priya Malhotra. The type of people who use it sometimes want to stay under the radar, and sometimes there are security elements. After being greeted by a doorman, they can relax in the Windsor suite while their suitcases are taken care of and they can avoid all queues to go through customs. Heathrow VIP cooks up a seasonal menu designed by British Michelin starred chef Jason Atherton and available just for the suite. You can order from the menu as much as you want, says the manager. You can even order the entire menu and drink me out of Dom, please do so, but I might be grumpy. The only thing the lounge doesn't have is showers, because when I look at the client base there's no way these clients would ever shower at an airport, Malhotra said. She added some of them travel with their own team of stylists and hairdressers. When it's time for them to head to their flight, they have their own security lane, which takes about 30 seconds to get through, according to Malhotra. There's also a private search room for those who require it.
On top of the price of the first class or business plane ticket, the Windsor suite costs £3,300. Ms Malhotra added that Heathrow VIP is undoubtedly the most luxurious way to travel through an airport anywhere in the world.